Hey guys, uh, this is Terror on Tape here, and I just wanted to talk with y'all, I feel really led by the spirit to make this video. Um, I'm here up on my roof uh, of the garage here, and I just wanted to explain to y'all, talk to you guys about flesh. Now, what is the flesh? Well, the flesh is, obviously, flesh is our skin. Uh, the Bible refers to the flesh as our whole body. So, anything that is not of our spirit that's in us is our flesh. Um, and, well, here's what the Bible says about the flesh. Bible says the flesh and the heart is wicked and desperately sick and he says let every man be a liar that's what God thinks of the flesh it's obviously cursed this this flesh that we have this this body this <clears throat> this thing so why <clears throat> so why do us as believers even why do us as born-again Christians, why do we still try to glorify the flesh by masturbation, pornography? Why do we try to glorify the flesh by nice clothes and, you know, extensive hygiene? You know what I mean? Like, why, why do we try to glorify our flesh by makeup and stuff like that? Like, that's something that I did for a long time. Um... And God broke me free from the chains of masturbation yesterday, um, like completely. He said, he said to me, I'm like, Lord, I, I was sitting right, right, see where my backpack is? Right over there. I was sitting right over there looking at this tree. And I just said, Lord, break me free of this bondage, God. And, and um, I was like, Lord, I don't want this anymore. And, and he said to me, he said, this will no longer be a problem. You are free. He, I felt like a, a sharp pains in my chest and um like I, I had a headache and then it did later on turned into a shooting migraine and i woke up this morning i mean i felt free don't get me wrong but i, I had a shooting migraine and now i feel so free this morning to just be able to preach and move uh freely so it's, it's just amazing but the lord can do the same for you all right if you feel like you have been like bound to your flesh like you have to have nice clothes like you absolutely have to have like three meals a day um you have to have certain things you're addicted to like for example coffee that's one of the things that i was addicted to it sounds really dumb but it it, it, it went from like <clears throat> that nice warm beverage that made you feel good to like a dependency to even wake up so um, you know, I've had my whole thing with drugs, and I've had my whole thing with pretty much everything in this world. <clears throat> and let me tell you what, when you're watching these things, when you're doing these things, you're not feeding your spirit, you're feeding your flesh. Uh, I think in Jeremiah, it says that, well, your flesh matters very little, your spirit matters very much. So, the flesh... The flesh will die. That's just how it is. The flesh is going to die. The flesh is going to be here. And, and when this flesh dies, your spirit lives forever. It's an eternal being. Your spirit. You are your spirit. You are not your flesh. You are a spirit with a body, not a body with a spirit. Your spirit remains forever. And either you have two places to go. <clears throat> There's no four, five, six, seven. There's no other dimensions like that's all um, a new age satanic lie. Uh, I've been to what they call the fourth dimension through astral projection, and which is actually a satanic ritual. Um, that it's a, an occult satanic ritual, um, and all that does is opens you up so far to demons, so wide that you will probably 
it will take you a long time to get rid of those demons, which it took me a long time. So, um, basically, what's that? All right, so yeah, while the flesh matters very little, the spirit matters very much, and you have two places: you have hell, and you have heaven. When you die, that's the two places you go. You still live forever. Don't get me wrong, but hell is without God. Hell. If you if you don't give your life to Christ, this is this. You don't deserve the kingdom of heaven. I mean, none of us do. None of us do. But at that point, it's so ju It's fair. It's fair. So I suggest that when Christ tells us to pick up our cross and to move with it, do it. And when you pick up your cross, it's not like, maybe not like a physical, like wooden cross, like Christ, and like carrying it on your back, like literally. But you carry up your cross by crucifying your flesh and getting rid of those things. And it's not easy, it's not something that can be done in a day or two. It's something that takes some time. And I'm gonna be honest, it ain't, it ain't easy at all. It's probably the most difficult thing I've ever done in my life. But, and it's a constant battle. But when you take up your cross, you are literally crucifying your flesh. You are partaking in the suffering that Jesus suffered for you. Uh, and you're doing it willingly. But, uh, regroup, okay. So, going back to the main point, the flesh is wicked, sick, and evil. All right, don't follow your heart. Follow the Lord and follow the word, all right? Because the word is the only thing that is pure and that is true. In this whole world, everything, everything around you, everything, none of it's pure and none of it's true. Only the word is pure and true. This is the Lord's word. And you need to be in it. Don't forsake this. You know, this is the one thing that will lead you um, throughout your whole relationship with the Lord. You know, like when you get into the word, it's like there's an intimacy and a bond that forms like with you and him. And like he'll even start opening up your ears and your eyes so that you see things. Um, like you start seeing like things for how they really are and you start hearing the Lord's voice and it's like wow I it's incredible guys <clears throat> but it all starts with crucifying your flesh it all starts with with aligning your desires with God's desires so all right guys um have a good one tear on tape out